Hi. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a new little video. I have these really tiny microphones that I haven't really put to any great use since buying them. So I thought today were the perfect option to whip them out. How freaking cute is that? Like, imagine me, like, on a red carpet interviewing celebs with a tiny microphone. Don't know where the fuck that's come from. Like, where's that idea sprouted from? Who knows? Never gonna happen. But imagine me, like, hey, I can't think of a celebrity's name. What you, what do you, what? Anyway, hi everyone, I hope you're all well. I haven't posted in like a week, so here I am. I thought today we could just sit down and have a chat, have a catch up. I feel like all I've been posting currently on this channel is vlogs, as much as I love doing that. I feel like there's certain things where I sit and have a full chat section in my vlog, and then I just end up cutting it out because I'm like, people just want to see what I'm up to, what I'm getting on with in my day. And I thought today we could sit in my bed and just hang out and chat and this feel like some sort of like FaceTime with your friend and we could just catch up and I can let you know what's going on in my life, answer some questions because I'm really in love with the whole old school style of YouTube videos right now where it's not overly edited and where people are just sat having a chat talking about things they're passionate about and things they love and I am eating that shit up. So I thought I would try it for myself. I want this to feel a little bit more like a podcast, a little bit more relaxed. So make yourself a drink, grab a coffee, grab a wine, whatever you you want to dabble in go grab it and we'll we'll sit and have a chat i have been drinking out of this water bottle now for the past like week or so and i swear to god it's changed my life i always used to mock freya for being one of those girlies like i feel like a tiktok girly runs around with her big water bottle covered in stickers and carries it everywhere like a purse. I am now that TikTok girly that carries this water bottle everywhere like a purse because I love it. And my boyfriend Lewis always mocks me because I constantly have this in my hand. My light just died. That's good. Let's kick it off with something juicy. Someone asked me if I, uh, in fact, I've had this question a lot. I, if you didn't already know, used to have a podcast with Anna. I, way back when, had a podcast with Haz and Anna, and we stopped doing that. That was called Entirely Accurate. And then me and Anna, around a year later, started a podcast called Friends Without Benefits, which I think is a genius podcast name. The concept were genius. However, we stopped doing it because we well Anna got really really busy so she were often not actually here it was like straight off the back of COVID we'd not really been doing anything for an entire year we had so much to catch up on so much to talk about and it was great for like the first month or so and then obviously Anna started getting booked and busy again and we're constantly here there and everywhere and I won <laughs> and I will take a lot of the responsibility for the fact that I didn't actually action much i don't really feel like action much at any point during that um and sort of just i don't know looking back i'm so annoyed at myself because it could have been such a great thing I can only speak for myself i don't want to sit here and say i did nothing and i did it all because like we both did a great deal towards the podcast and both did love it i just think we got to a point where we didn't really know what direction to take it and we didn't really have any guidance from anyone that had done anything like it before we were just sort of talking shit every week about our lives but it was like a lot of the stuff we were all also already sharing on YouTube and we were together in vlogs all the time so it weren't like anyone were getting really an exclusive insight to anything that we hadn't already spoke about so in our heads it just felt like we were repeating the same stories and then obviously we did have the different segments on the podcast which Freya very graciously came up with a lot of them I don't know I don't really have an excuse as to why it finished but we wrapped a season and then always planned on coming back but just never knew when and then obviously Anna now has a podcast with Saf um, Sex Lies and DM Slides I have in fact been on their podcast so if you do want to listen to my episode please do hoping it's the best rated one of the season because i absolutely just told all i overshare anyway but that was like another level i was one of the first people to know that anna and saf were even thinking about having a podcast like anna told me obviously ahead of time because i at that point in some like distant future thought that me and Anna maybe have a podcast again and it's not to say we could never have a podcast again like she's not like signed her life away to Spotify and can only have a podcast with Saf but obviously right now she does in fact have the podcast with Saf. Someone asked if I were annoyed that Anna had another podcast. I'm not annoyed at all. Um, I would love to be doing it with Anna and I would have loved when we had our podcast I love Saf to death like this is not me saying I want to replace Saf at all but I would have loved to have had a company like Spotify reach out to me and Anna when we were doing our podcast or even when me hasn't 
Anna were doing our podcast together to have some like backing and to have someone like believe in the podcast back then would have been great and being able to finance it how Saf and Anna's podcast has been financed like in a studio we obviously did film the um, season a uh, season of an entirely accurate in a studio but I mean like a set with production with like videographers and editors and just to have someone believe in actually putting time and energy into it not that people didn't our management were great and we worked for different companies over the years that we did it but I just would have loved I would have loved what they have now for myself and Anna or for myself Anna and Has, it would have been great obviously the opportunity didn't arise and I'm not bitter or salty about it because one day it could happen and I have thought about making a podcast myself because like right now I've been sat talking already for 15 minutes and I'm on topic number one. So the boy can talk and I love just chatting and I love the format of podcasts. I just, I thought of doing In Bed With Byron. I've had multiple ideas. I've actually had meetings with Spotify and spoke about all this and I don't know if it's a me, th- it is a me thing. I don't really have much confidence in my own ideas recently and the execution of my ideas never comes to fruition and I just never, I have so many things I want to do and then it gets to a point where I literally cannot do any of them because I'm like, oh my God, I want to do this, this and this. And it applies to all aspects of my life. Um, I would love a podcast. I would have at one point, me and Lou spoke about doing a podcast. At another point, me and Fryer spoke about doing a podcast. I've thought about doing a podcast called In Bed With Byron which is why I'm in bed right now, just to sort of test the waters and then just never done it and never committed to it because I think, what am I going to talk about? Yeah, here I am talking for so long already. But in summary, after that tangent, no, I am not annoyed, obviously, that Anna's got a new podcast. She's literally one of my best friends in the entire world. And even if she were doing the podcast with my arch nemesis, of which I don't have, I'd still be happy for her success. And if she's enjoying it, then yeah. I say that like Saf's like Ursula as if that sounded bad um yeah no I fucking hate them both I feel like all the questions I've chosen out for this little Q&A moment are all very intense deep rooted long rambly questions that could be answered with a yes or no answer but I'm not gonna answer them with a yes or no answer hence why I said make yourself a drink get yourself relaxed and just sit and let's just chat um the next question I wanted to talk about was someone asked me how I came out to my parents this is not something I think about a lot but I also do think about it quite a lot and I think about it a lot when Lewis is around my family if you didn't already know this is somehow the first video you're watching I do apologize I'm not normally this boring and as rambly Lewis is my boyfriend and we've been together for two years now he's the first boy I've ever introduced to my family the first boy I've ever really introduced to my friends in fact more or less is he's my first boyfriend like first of many things and that was very very daunting when it all had to be like a first time meeting my parents first time doing this first time meeting his parents like I've never done that and I how old are I 20 how old am I now 21 why 21 I'm 23 now. I must have been 21. I was past the age at which all my friends had already had boyfriends and already done all what I were doing. And I felt like a little bit, not silly, but I just, I'd never done it before. So there were more of a pressure in my head. Cause I was like, this is things that happen when you're young. Like you have boyfriends and girlfriends growing up and your parents do all that. But like I am now 21 and my parents have still never met anyone that I've ever been romantically involved with at all. I've never really spoke to my parents about anything like that. I've never even really spoke about anything like that in front of my parents. I obviously were very open online and on YouTube and my parents were able to watch all that. But who's saying that they did? They still don't know what videos my parents watched when I were at uni and what they heard me say like what podcast episodes they've heard and I really do thank the fact that I have had YouTube and had had a platform like this that I've I've been able to express myself on so freely from such a young age that I felt like it's made it easier almost because it's not such such a shock like I'm not one type of way obviously everyone acts different around their friends to the way they do act in front of their parents and I do that as well and like you probably watch it and in fact I don't really do it anymore like now I'm a lot older I'm the exact same my parents are like my best friends like the, the stuff I talk about with my parents too is the same shit I will talk about my friends too but I feel like when you grow up you obviously are a certain way in front of your friends as opposed to how you act in front of your family and I feel like the fact that I had this whatever this has been for however many years of my life now that was like the icebreaker and that was the in-between because I would act on camera 
the same way I would around my friends but my parents and my family and everyone could watch it so they're still seeing that side of me and still seeing that part of my personality that not every kid shares with their parents who's to say they even saw anything at all but in my head I was like well they already sort of know all this stuff about me anyway so it's not like I have to make a oh my god my parents think I'm an absolute angel type of sit down at Christmas one year and be like look I didn't then feel the pressure to obviously sit my parents down and be very formal with it I sort of just introduced Lewis and were like well actually what happened is I was spending a lot of time with Lewis and there were occasions where I were going to see Lewis and my mom would call me and I were like either on the way or I were there or like there just were times where I while still getting to know Lewis had to explain to my mum where I was so she'd like rang me one time and I, I would always say oh I'm with a friend or I'm meeting up with a friend or I'm driving to meet my friend and obviously my mum knows all my friends so why am I why I'm not I'm driving to meet Has. I'm driving to meet Anna like I'm driving to meet a friend she never questioned it until I were say, seeing this friend a lot more and constantly just saying, oh, I'm with a friend or I'm seeing a friend. And then my mum, I think my mum asked, she was like, is this friend a boy? I can't remember how it came about, but in terms of them actually meeting for the first time, I were going home one time to Sheffield and I didn't actually ask Lewis to come home with me. He knew that I would go in home and he stayed with me the night before and then on the morning of me going home, I was like, you can come if you want, not expecting him to be like, yeah, sure, I'll come. I don't know, I just sort of asked because I was like, this is so awkward, I'm going home and I've not at any point offered him to come with me after we spent so much time together he's literally just stayed the night before we've spoke about him like meeting my parents and stuff but yet here we are but he never met my mom and dad and then it happened and i was absolutely shitting myself and it went so well and obviously i met his parents so that went so well as well um or at least i think it did i'm still not being banished from the family i always said to myself as well when it came to like coming out and all that stuff i grew up quite confused and also quite a lot in denial but also still quite confused and I weren't just saying that I weren't gay out of fear of saying that I were gay a lot of it will have been but there were also still a lot of curiosity around that entire subject because I really didn't know for a while I'd not had any sexual encounters with anyone and I emotionally didn't really care about that stuff so then I was like well I don't really care it's not really crossing my mind like it is what it is also it's scary to think that potentially it could be gay but also at the same time I'm not gonna think about it too much because realistically there's no pressure from anyone or anywhere apart from myself so I always said to myself if I do meet someone I will just meet that person and when I know it's right my coming out will be hi mom this is this person and that happened to be Lewis however I do feel like from my YouTube video she sort of gathered before that point that maybe I wasn't going to be bringing a girl home I would get Lewis actually to come in and talk about how he feels that situation is from a different perspective but he is currently fake tanning so I don't think he'll want to be on camera when he's doused himself in a bottle of Saint-Tropez. Oh, someone said, how do you earn money and what actually is your job? Now, this is quite interesting because I actually ask myself this a lot and I don't have a specific job title because my income changes month to month. It's so unpredictable. I would say my job is... I don't know what I would say my job is. I edit videos for Saffron. So a lot of Saffron's, majority of Saffron's YouTube videos, some of her reels, some of her TikToks, not everything, but just some things on, it's ma it's mainly all her YouTube videos, but there are occasional TikToks and reels when it's more like branded content that I will help her edit. Stuff that's like sponsored by a brand that she wants editing a bit better than she might feel she could do it. Uh, we'll work together on stuff like that, but pretty much every one of her YouTube videos for the past three years, two years. I were at uni when I started doing it because I quit my job at Urban Outfitters to start doing it. So maybe for the past, give or take, there's been times where I haven't been able to edit a video and she's done it herself or times where she's wanted to edit it herself or times when she's asked, or when like when I were in Australia, someone else were editing her videos for her because obviously I were in Australia couldn't do it because I were the other side of the world but pretty much for the last three years I want to say maybe it's four years I've been editing for staff which is obviously a regular income and it's a regular thing like I know pretty much every week twice a week she's going to be uploading a video so twice like that's more of like a monthly average income which is more stable and steady however I also earn money sometimes obviously through YouTube or through Instagram what other platforms is there TikTok rarely TikTok mainly Instagram actually I'm 
rarely YouTube, which is ironic considering I post the least on Instagram right now. But then there also have been months where that sort of, that income from my own social media and doing like this sort of job through Instagram and YouTube and TikTok where that monthly paycheck has been greater than the paycheck for me editing SAS videos. So it all just depends because then it's like, do you value, do you give the job title of what earned you the most money consistently? Or like, what do I call myself? Because like I could stop doing all forms of social media myself and just edit for staff and still be able to live in this apartment and still be able to do what I do because like I still have a pretty stable average run of the mill job outside of doing social media and being a YouTuber. And there have been times where I thought to myself, I could put so much more time into this and into myself as a brand if I weren't working for other people. Because I also as well, if my management have someone on their roster that needs something editing, I've had a few Love Islanders that I've worked with where I've edited campaigns for them and stuff, which is obviously more video editing income. So I could do that full time, but then there also has been times where I thought, well, if I gave up all this other side hustle parts but is it a side hustle i don't know if i stopped editing basically could i just do youtube full time and could i do like i don't want to call it an influence because bitch i'm not influenced anyone to do anything and please don't be influenced by anything i do it makes me absolutely want to die the thought of being titled an influencer but that sort of job i don't want to rely on myself having to get up in the morning and look nice and stand in front of a camera because there's a lot of the time that i don't want to do that and who says how long that's going to last you know, it's very 50 50 and very weird. But hopefully, with that long winded answer, you get some insight into how I actually can afford to turn this light on right here, which at times is testing. It's not really steady or consistent or reliable. But that's the art of working freelance. I got asked if I am happy, if myself a year ago could look at me now, would I be happy? Is that right? If, if myself a year ago today could see. If me a year ago could look a year in the future where I am now and see what I'm doing and where I am, would I be happy and content with the version of myself and the version of my life that currently is playing out? And I thought about this for a while and I'm like, you know what? I think I would be. I feel like this start of this year, I were really down on myself and I felt really lost in my career and just weren't in a good place mentally. I'd sort of worked myself into a, a corner that I just really couldn't get myself out of. But then this past month or so i have been doing things that have made me feel a lot better i've took a lot of pressure off myself and i've not really cared too much about i don't know i feel like when you do this job and i've grown up literally grown up online to a certain extent i have always lived for the validation of other people without realizing and i've always asked what do other people want to see me do and i just sort of took a step back from it and i'm like you know what i don't actually care too much and i want to be happy within myself and for myself i have been for the last week this is embarrassing i haven't been vaping um i for some reason silly me got into vaping them silly geek bars elf bars lost mary's all the rest of it i decided i'm going to stop doing that and because that were making me feel shit like i literally had no appetite whatsoever because i would constantly just filling myself with nicotine which is a appetite suppressor and then i wondered why i never wanted to eat and i were losing weight and i were hitting my body and i've never been able to maintain my weight anyway so why on earth am i constantly inhaling something that's making me not hungry it makes no sense so i've not done it for a week and i feel like i'm over the thing of wanting to do it i vaped for two years and now i'm just like i don't want to do it i've been making a point of going to the gym for the past week and i felt so much better within myself i thank this water bottle actually this kick started it all bought this water bottle and since i bought this water bottle i've been making a lot more positive decisions in my life and with my lifestyle and it feels like it's paying off it's literally only been like a week or so but i feel so much better people have, around me have said I, they feel like I've got more energy I feel more present in everything that I'm doing I just feel like I was just a bit depressed if I'm being honest and I feel like I'm finally coming out of that and just trying to be more healthy and trying to exercise and drink a lot of water i know i keep saying it i did not realize how on the verge of dehydration i must have been every single day i was probably drinking like a glass of water or two a day average and i would struggle to wake up in the morning because my eyes were so heavy because i literally had no liquid in my eyes whatsoever so no wonder i didn't want to open them i 
would constantly have headaches. If I went out and had a drink, I would start having a hangover before I've even got home. And then the next morning would have the worst hangover, obviously, because you get dehydrated from drinking alcohol. I just didn't actually realize how much on the verge of like actual dehydration. I never sweated because I didn't physically have the water in my body to sweat. And I was just like, I never sweat. But now looking back, I'm like, well, yeah, you didn't have any water to spare to sweat. You didn't, you couldn't even blink without dust going out your eyes, Byron. So yeah. I think I would be happy with where I'm at. I still could be doing more, but it's a work in progress and we'll get there. We'll all get there. Don't know what I want to do long term and I often panic that I'm in a bit of a career that's going to fizzle out, but we'll see. I don't want to think about it too much. I've been reading as well. Maybe I'll become a book talker. I'd love that actually. I'd love to just be able to be like, this is the book I'm reading. Anyway, um, I'm gonna wrap this video up because I don't really know what it's been. If you've enjoyed it for whatever reason, please do let me know. I feel like this video is for the select few people that have been with me a while and watched me for a long time and just enjoyed when I used to make content like this. And I don't know, a girl came over to me the other night. I really should have got her name. We just had a conversation. She basically said that she was proud of everything I was speaking about currently and everything that I would do in and it just made me realize that I shouldn't be hung up on stupid things like the amount of people that are watching I should more concentrate on the people that are watching so yeah I hope you've enjoyed this video smash a thumbs up maybe I should do another one of these maybe I should do in bed with Byron on my YouTube channel as well and then we can get different people to sit and we'll just chat like imagine Lewis sat here I've got lots of these tiny microphones we could all have one we could sit in bed and talk about things in our life and the world right now if we agree that spy should have left drag race that's a whole another tangent i'm not even gonna get into drag race oh lord i'd be here for days anyway um i love you all thank you so much for watching this video smash a thumbs up subscribe and i'll see you soon i'm currently filming a vlog so you'll have a vlog coming soon but yeah let's chat in the comments bye i nearly did peace out peace out eight town do 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 do